What's up, Warriors of the Goku? We got some DLC specials going on right now, I guess. All right, so before we do this, I just want to make this clear real quick. Top right's going to be um, gameplay. The left side's going to be the new costume that's going to be part of Joyu's hypothetical, as well as the release date. I don't know when the release date on that is. I don't know if that's coming out the same day, but the, the release date for the DLC weapons is on the left side. And then the bottom right is this, all the screenshots that you pretty much need to see of the weapons and of screenshots of them in action. So they're going to be of Lee Dian, Simsha, and Yua Jin. The Moon Spade, which I guess is just maybe the uh, three-star equivalent to the Crescent Edge. I'm not sure, because on the official website they said they called it the Crescent Edge. But in this one, it's called the Moon Spade. So I'll just say the Moon Spade, the Lightning Rapier, and the Dual Hook Blades. So those are going to be sh getting shown on the bottom right. You're going to see me training with Lee Dian on the top right. And, uh, yeah, so there you go. Pretty much I just wanted to, so I'm kind of just editing in this for one, this is the first time I'm actually doing this, I'm like yeah, editing in my commentary afterward, I've never actually done this before, I usually just do like commentary and stuff during like while I'm in the middle of playing something, but this time I'm not. So I just wanted to mention a couple things about the DLC and everything, so it's kind of weird honestly because uh, also you might also notice, I know how I mentioned I would usually do a studio. Like, I have a studio that I do for discussion videos, but I'm not actually doing that this time. I'm actually just going to be doing this just so you could see the weapons, like, get a good view of the weapons, the cow the outfit, let's say the cow outfit, the costume slash outfit, and the gameplay on the top right, because that isn't the most important thing. But I thought I might as well put it in just for the sake of discussing this, so... I guess I just kind of wanted to discuss, like, what the weapons I feel are like, or, like, what, uh... How the, how the DLC weapons have been so far. So, this one, honestly, I'm actually the prob the, the most hyped for. The second deal season pass deal... Uh, hang on. Okay. Collect myself. Alright, so I would say... Season 1's DLCs, they were okay. They were pretty good. They were cool. I wasn't a huge fan of Sushu's or Wangy's, but I was, a, I was a fan of the Claws. So, I'll say that those definitely got a passing grade for me. However, I would also have to say that um, Season 2's definitely blew me away. Like, the, the second patch of, or pack of DLC weapons was definitely a big grade up. So I'd have to say that that one definitely won my heart so far out of the DLC weapons. It was weird knowing that this weapon, because you guys saw me preach it like for like the longest time. I said that I thought the weapon was going to either be like a Guan Yu thing or a Zheng Liao thing, because I saw Crescent, and technically those are Crescent Blades, what like Guan Yu and what Zheng Liao used to use before 6. So I thought it was just going to be either Guan Yu or Zheng Liao getting, a, getting their own weapon. I was completely off. Not only does it not look like, a, uh, like the Crescent weapon that I was thinking of, it's a completely different one, and it's apparently pretty much just... It's its literally what it is. It's the Moon Spade. It's... You could see on the bottom right that it's nothing that I expected. I actually thought it was going to be something that looked similar to the thing that Lee Dian or Guan Yu use right now. But this is technically, in my opinion, ten times cooler. So... I'd have to say that this is definitely going to be a pretty hyped thing going on right now. So apparently you get, um... If, if what I'm getting from like other the other YouTubers is correct, you get a buff out of this out of these weapons after you finish like a regular flow attack. At least with Lee Dian's, I'm not sure about the others because I never really delve and read deep into them. But I'm gonna at least try to mention what I know and then pretty much just gonna talk about the DLCs in general. So it's pretty much just me, just 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 giving opinions pretty much. So I'm gonna give the facts and give it opinions. So. Yeah, so apparently, at least with Lee Dian, you get a buff after a flow attack. I think that's why his weapon ends up like getting like swirled, I think, with like an ice element. And it ends up like... Yeah, I think it just it's pretty much just an ice element, and I think that's pretty much the buff that just makes it stronger. It adds an ice element to the weapon, so it'll freeze the enemies and all that. So that's a really cool thing. Uh, I didn't see any gameplay on Simashur or Yua Jin yet. I'm assuming... They're definitely going to within the next two days. I'm recording this literally on the seventh, and this may actually come out on the eighth. I'm not sure if I have what because I'm already having stuff planned because this was completely left field. Because um, damn you, GrowTube, you ended up posting this stuff at like three three a.m. 
I think he said 3 a.m. his time and then like 5 a.m. my time. So I was like trying to go finally go to sleep after doing some all-nighter. And lo and behold, he posts some cool stuff. So if you actually want to see the action on that, I will definitely 100% uh, put a link in uh, the description of where you can see the gameplay. So I have to say that lead the end so far. I mean, I was I was I liked the hook blades in eight, and I liked the lightning rapier. As you can pretty much tell, at least with the lightning rapier in eight, I use that for Hikari, my one of my main characters, and you could tell that like. It, I'm a big fan of it, so I'm kind of hyped for that. The hook blades, I'm okay with. I'm not really a huge fan of them, but they're they're pretty good nonetheless. But I'm I'm thinking because of because of how the move set, the combat system in this game is, and how actually almost pretty much every weapon I've been touching so far in this game is good, which is what I like to quote Tetsuo with because he did say this uh, with quality over quantity, because. Even though we have a smaller quantity of weapons, we, the quality on the movesets, in my opinion, have not disappointed me so far. So I'm actually extremely excited to see how the hook plays will look in this game. And then, brand new weapon for, I, I guess you could say a new a newish character. He only came out in 8, so it's kind of cool that he's getting his own weapon now. Again. But uh, actually, I kinda, I'm kind of actually, even though I haven't played it, I'm kind of digging the Moonblade more than his Wield Halberd. So, not only does it give a more realistic feel, which they are aiming towards, apparently, because that's what they said, like, when they were first revealing Dynasty Warriors 9, they wanted to give a more realistic feeling. So, it's definitely a step up, I'll say that. It's definitely a step up in the realism, and not to mention, it actually kind of looks cooler than the Wield Halberd. The Wield Halberd was a bit, was cool, but it was kind of clunky and slow to me. And seeing as how you can, like, increase attack speed and everything in this game, with uh, the gems and everything, I think it's only going to be that much cooler, the Moon Spade, so I'm looking forward to Lee Dian's more than anyone else's. So I guess my top three in the, would, would be um, Lee Dian, Simisha, and then Yue Jin. Who knows? Maybe I'll like Yue Jin more. I'm like, these co this combat system with these weapons has been incredible, so I'm not going to like, like just like say, wow, this is going to suck. No. It might be 100% great. So, I guess... I'm hoping that this season or this um, this pack of weapons definitely outshines season two, uh, the the second pack of, with Sunjian, Jotai, and Zhang Fei, because technically right now Zhang Fei is my favorite. Zhang Fei's weapon is actually my absolute favorite, and Sunjian's would be my second right now in terms of DLC weapons. I think season season two part one, I guess it is their their weapon pack was really good season ones was okay like i said i didn't really i wasn't really into a lot of them zoo shoes just didn't seem to work because it was like really clunky and all that wangies is good it's just that i hate that you end up with the combo and a grab so it kind of messes up my combos and stuff jung hoes i did like jung hoes was a good one but i'd have to say the top three for dlc weapons is definitely in season two part one so seeing as how the second part of the of the season passes uh, weapons are coming out on the 10th this Thursday. It's going to be really cool, I feel. So I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, so whew, it's pretty crazy. But uh, let's. I, mean, I brought up a good amount of that. So let's bring up uh, the hypothetical. I don't know what the hypothetical is going to be. I don't think we even know. I think they just pretty much just gave a reveal for what Joe Yu's attire looks like. And let me say if you have watched my videos, especially my costume videos, which I did with the girls. You will know. I've been ranting about this for the longest time. And they finally gave a cool alternate attire that actually looks like something a warrior would wear. It's an alternate attire that a warrior would just put on. It's perfect. I love it. It's a weird mixture because it's kind of it's going to look interesting seeing Zhou Yu work with like if he still had like his elder sword, I would say like, yeah, I guess that weapon could work out or I guess that costume would look with the looks wise. I'm just talking about looks department real quick. Uh, like how but with a staff it, I don't know it looks weird how I don't see how I mean obviously you could change the weapon and everything like that which I'll probably do but I think it's just a little weird seeing Zhou Yu with like a badass looking weapon or a badass looking attire and then just seeing him with a bow staff I don't know what my personal opinion was and I, I'm looking at other people's uh, videos and stuff and they're like this action this uh, like Soon Jian's weapon should have been given to Zhu wrong I can agree because I could see why However, honestly, if they were going to do this, I feel like they should give just Zhou Yu his Elder Sword. And if they were going to have someone keep the Bow Staff, I still think the Bow Staff would be a very cool um, 
uh, suit fit for Zhu Rong. So I think, yes, the DLC weapon does suit him really well, more than Soon Jian, in my opinion. And Soon Jian's weapon could have stayed the same, but I'm not going to dive into that. But I think the Elder Sword could should make a return. That's just me, though. And they could just let Zhu Rong keep the bow staff. But uh, aside from that, the outfit looks amazing. I really, really hope that we get to see other alternate outfits for the other people who have hypothetical scenarios and all that. It looks so, so cool. I love the look of it. So the other ones that are going to be coming out, I believe, yeah, Guojia, Sushu, and Chen Gong. They are also going to be getting their own hypotheticals that are going to be planned to release between now and February. So within the two-month span, because this is just the beginning of January and everything, so... There's still, there's a lot to go go through with this, so it's pretty cool. So I have to say, uh, going up to the top right where you see the footage of me playing with Lee Dian, it's actually really fun. He's actually really fun to play with, as he is right now. So I feel like if that's the case, and it's I mean, if anyone needed a weapon change, I guess it would be him. I always think the newer characters that like debuted in eight and then they just get cloned and then like I wouldn't. I guess they just I feel like they would deserve have like a more unique thing to them so they have like a newer feel so i think lee dn playing pretty much like guan yu with that big ass crescent blade definitely needs to change so i'm really glad that they gave him the mood spade so i i don't know man i'm, I'm feeling hyped for this already and everything but yeah i got i had a pretty good feel for him on the top right that you can see i had a really good feel for him and everything so i'm only looking forward to seeing how much more uh this is gonna keep going on so oh my gosh like this this dlc has a lot of promise to it and i'm hoping that joe Yu's also comes out at the same time i don't know if it is or not but if they want to bring out dlc in a big way that'd be a pretty cool idea to put joe Yu's in there like the outfit looks amazing i hope they keep making outfits like that for other warriors like they had an alternate one for zhao yun as well which is pretty cool but um this is the but and then they gave most of like the fan service-y kind of outfits to the females like they usually do. And I was like, well, where are like the cool alternate outfits that you can get from like that you sometimes see in like Warriors Orochi? Warriors Orochi had a pretty cool set of outf of alternate outfits. And they also did it for female and male. They gave both of them uh they gave both of them love. But in this one, they're pretty much just giving the females love. So I'm hoping that they keep keep this going and then they just give everyone love in alternate outfits and everything so i guess only time will tell with that and the dlc weapons i'm really thinking hoping i don't know if anyone's going to be junk phase but i think if anyone does have a chance i feel it's going to be lee dn 100 percent. if anyone's going to beat my love for junk fei uh dlc weapon it's going to be lee dn's moon spade for sure so time will tell it comes out on on thursday uh i think it i believe it is thursday I might just be wrong, let me double check real quick, I'm pretty sure it is, but I'm just very, very excited. Yes, it comes out on Thursday, yes, because I'm not, I don't have the release date right next to me because I'm just doing just audio right now, so I'm not looking, I'm not even looking at anything, I'm just doing the commentary, so yes, it'll be coming out on Thursday and on the gen on January 10th, so be ready for that, and I'm be ready for all of, probably all of us YouTubers, co tubers I guess, uh, someone gave a term, co tubers uh, to be pretty much jumping on that stuff and giving uh, like our gameplay and reviews on that. So I'm excited to do this. I'm sure everyone, the other Koei tubers are ready to do this as well. So like I mentioned, if there, if you guys want to see the gameplay of, uh, Lee Dian, it's like a couple of seconds, but it's really cool gameplay and you get a pretty good in-depth look of what it, what it'll be. So I will definitely give a, uh, a link in the description to grow tubes clip of it on his channel. So be sure to click on that and, uh, let us know how you think about it. So, oh yeah, also leave, leave a comment down here too. Let me know what you guys are thinking about this as well. So, before we end this, I just want to say real quick that um, I am trying to get to the goal of 500 subs. I'm trying to do it before summer. It's a really, really, really crazy goal, but I think that we can make this happen because this is a group effort. I need you guys' help here. So, I think we can make this happen. So, 500 subs. I didn't put any of my overlay, so I didn't, like, so you just so you guys can see, like, all the screenshots and so my overlay doesn't c cover up anything or anything like that so i don't usually i don't have the reminder on like the top left or right so 500 subs before summer it's up to you guys the power's in your hands be sure to hit that sub button help a brother out and i will help you guys out by giving out some more content and more diversity and all that so 
Let's do this team effort, guys. Let's do this. But with that being said, there's not much else for me to say. Just wanted to give a little bit of my input and review on this kind of stuff. I'm looking forward to it. The updates and season passes and DLC that they've been giving out so far has been really, really cool. I'm not talking about the costumes. Like, weapons-wise and hypothetical stuff. It's getting me hyped, and it's looking really cool. So I hope you all are feeling that way as well. If not, I mean, it is what it is. Is everyone has their own interests. But this has definitely gotten me more into the game. I've been playing this so much more. So I'm really, really looking forward to playing this on Thursday. So, And giving my review as well on everything. Just like the other Koei Tubers will. So be sure to tune in to all of us. That's right. I'm not plugging myself. All of us. This is a team effort. Us Koei Tubers guys stick together. I'm, I'm talking to all of you. So with that being said, guys, thank you all very much for watching this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.